Hmm, which wonderful comic book or chapter book should I select for a book review? Hmm, maybe an American Chillers book? Nah, maybe Michigan Chillers. Nope. <laughs> hmm, no, I don't feel like Goosebumps. Uh, no Diet Wimpy Kid either. Uh, ooh, i never seen these comic books before. Let me see this one. Ooh, it's based on that fox that Scotty has a crush on. Shut up, Coney. Well, let's go ahead and read this comic book. Technically, it's a graphic novel. What? It's a graphic novel. That's what they call it in Japan, and that's what they called this book when it came to America. Serious? Yeah, seriously. Okay, then let's go ahead and read these, uh, graphic novel. It doesn't ring off the tongue very well. Wait a minute. Why? Why is this book so... Huh? Yeah, graphic novels are really weird. They put the front of the book at the back and the back of the book in the front. Why? Because they want to be fancy? I don't know. Graphic novels are weird. Just read it, Coney. Okay, okay, fine. Ugh. Well, we're not getting off this book to a fresh start. Looks like Sora has a pretty big mouth, just like me. <laughs> Coney, your mouth is smaller than hers. So, never mind, just keep reading. Well, that's the fox herself, the master of illusions, Azork. Wow, she looks pretty cool in this comic. Of course I look cool. They got my good side. Don't want to know what a good side is, but okay. But I'm pretty sure Scott wants to find out what a good side is. Shut up, Coney. Ooh, and there's the bad guy. Kodai, who made the illusion canceler to cancel out Zork's illusions. You see, this guy basically kidnapped Zork like Princess Peach if she was kidnapped by Bowser, but she is kidnapped by Bowser. Shh! Anyways, he captures Zork and forces her to destroy this town so that he can get Sylvie so he can actually get to the portal to suck it up all of its contents so he can see through the future to get more energy. So, you know, he can see through the future because he's a bad boy. Don't believe me? Well, there you go. He's a really, really bad boy. Bad. You're a really bad boy. No, no. Okay, Connie, you're doing a terrible job reviewing this comic book. How am I doing a terrible job? Wow. So, basically, I'm Zora's mom, and I'm basically trying to stop Connie from trying to torture my little one. And there I am, right on top of that building. As you can see, I'm pretty cool. Hey, come on. Get out of here. What? How did I? I can't get out of here. Your... Why is your hair so thick? I'm going to pretend like I didn't hear that. Anyways... Anyways, you want to see me at my finest? Basically, read this comic book. Okay, Coney, you can take over. Uh, I, uh, I have, uh, okay, let's just, uh, continue. Go back! You're reading the wrong end of the comic book, you idiot! Hey, I'm no idiot. I am a genius. <laughs> and that, my dear friends, is Zork, the master of illusions, based on the movie that this, uh, graphic novel is based off of. Now, I like to think that the book came out first. No, the movie came out first. You said it was based on the movie, you idiot. All right, I forgot. Whoopsie. So, yeah, if you like Pokemon and you really like graphic novels, go look at this one. Because Scotty really loves his Pokemon. A little too much, if you ask me. Coney, will you just shut up, you stupid piece of crap? Ugh. 